here with head coach Dini Hall after the Hawks take 3 of 4 from Fairleigh Dickinson this past weekend. Coach, let's backtrack. You started the season with 13 straight road games. You went 7 and 6 in those games. What did you see from the first 13? Well, I thought we played well. We got off to a good start the first weekend. Um, you know, played hard. We, we, uh, we, we were able to establish some, some, some roles for our guys in the lineup, and then we went to UVA. VCU, Troy, and Georgia State, and I think it was a challenging pre-conference schedule, you know, one that'll allow us to, uh, you know, grow as a team early in the season, but also prepare us for, for NEC play, um, and just playing four games in a week and having to grind it out, you know, it was extremely uh, beneficial. You started 3-0 for the first time since 1994, and then you started last weekend in Northeast Conference play, 3-1 and for the second straight year. What did you see from the first conference weekend? You received good starts from Pat Light, Dan Smith, and Andrew McGee. Yeah, well, that's, you know, I think the strength of our team is our starting pitching right now. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where uh, if you get good pitching, you have a chance. And, you know, those guys have been good all year, and, and they, they know what's expected of them. They keep the team in the game, and uh, we can be opportunistic when we need to. Um, you know, we're looking for good things from those three guys, and, you know, hopefully Stephen Fry can get on track uh, in the future. He had a rough one, rough start this weekend, but, you know, he's been good in the past uh, uh, as well. On the offensive side of things, you had Jamie Rosencrantz earn Northeast Conference Player of the Week two weeks in a row, and then Danny Avella earn it last week. Talk about those guys and what you've seen from them. Well, offensively, I don't think we've hit our best stride yet as a team. Um, Jamie's been very productive. Uh, Danny's been productive, and um, he's hit into some hard luck too early in the season. We played at some really big fields and some tough, uh, tough conditions, winds, wind blowing in, real big fields, and his uh, his numbers are not indicative of where he's at right now as a hitter. And uh, Jamie's been ultra consistent all year. He's been scoring runs, getting on base, and um, you know we're hoping the rest of the guys catch up at some point. And, um, you know, once that happens, we're, we're going to be uh, much better. Now, heading into this week, you have UMass here on Wednesday at 3 o'clock before heading to Staten Island with a four-game set with Wagner. Uh, preview the upcoming week. Well, you know, we're going to treat it just like every other week. We're, you know, uh, we're going to get better in practice. We're going to, you know, continue to uh, work hard. And, um, you know, when we get to the games, we're going to try to play a better game of baseball than the other teams. And, you know, that's what you have to do. You can't worry about, you know, who you're playing too much when you get caught up in all that stuff. You know, that's when you lose sight of what's important. And, um, you know, that's never, been our, uh, that's never been our focus in the past. And, you know, if we can keep these guys on track with, with following that philosophy, we'll be, we'll be successful long, in the long run. Well, the Hawks are 10-7, and seven, and again they host UMass here on Wednesday at 3 o'clock before heading to Staten Island. Coach, good luck in those games. Thanks, guys.